Contender Regime Boxing, checking back in with y'all, man. What's good? So, um, before I start the video, man, I want to say, you know, prayers and uh, best wishes to Virgil Ortiz. Uh, as we all know, like recently it was announced that he had to pull out of his fight for this Saturday versus undefeated uh, Mike McKinson believe uh Blair Cobb's fighting on that undercard as well. I don't know if they still going to continue with the card um because McKenzie might struggle to get a replacement opponent, but of course the star of the show Virgil Ortiz um initially it was a uh, undisclosed reason why he pulled out the fight and I just got uh some some information that says that uh Virgil Ortiz well, he had just left the hospital. He was admitted to the hospital and was just diagnosed with some type of rare blood disease or something like that, man. So, um, you know, prayers to his family. You know what I'm saying? I hope he able to to pull through that and uh, and bounce back even stronger. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck boxing. I hope he able to just continue to, you know, live his life and be healthy and be strong and shit. And ultimately, you know, if he can get back to the ring, man, one of my favorite fighters to watch, so prayers up to him for that. You know what I mean? But I want to talk about Jerron Boos Ennis versus Custio Clayton. Um, that fight has been officially announced for May 14th. It's actually going to be on the undercard of an already super fight, in my opinion. Not in the, in the idea of, like, you know, pay-per-views and all that crazy shit. Just this is a fight personally for me that I've been wanting to see. I was stoked about the original matchup because, of course, it's undisputed. And then I just always thought that Jamel Charlo and Brian Castano was a great stylistic matchup, action packed, and just a heavily, uh, just like an extremely entertaining matchup. I always liked that matchup in one of, in my opinion, the most competitive division in boxing which at that time it was right now you know some other divisions are starting to make noise and shit like that but you know we already got Jamel Charlo for the rematch versus Brian Castano for undisputed all the belts on the line that's already a crazy ass headliner then you add Jerron Boots Ennis versus another undefeated fighter Custio Clayton as the main as the uh, co-main event for a title eliminator for the IBF. Whoever wins this fight will become the number one contender and, you know, eventually become the mandatory for the IBF welterweight world champion, which, of course, right now that's Earl Spence. Earl Spence is about to fight Yordinas Ugas in a three belt unification match. So, some interesting shit going on, but I wanted to talk specifically about this fight. Now, we know Jerron Boots in this man, one of the most skilled guys in the game. Haven't quite had an opportunity to prove that versus the top guys. But, you know, just based off of the eye test, Jerron Boots in this can do everything. Uh, one of the most athletic guys in the game. Uh, really has every tool and every skill. If you could draw up a fighter from scratch, Jerron Boots in this would be that guy. Can switch from orthodox to southpaw fluidly and naturally and be 100% comfortable in either stance. I mean, he got power in both hands. What doesn't Jerron Boots Ennis does well? That's the unknown because we haven't really got an opportunity to see any of those weaknesses. We saw some things that he could work on that I actually seen improvement on, like patience and pacing himself, not just going out there, going gung-ho in the first round, throwing everything you got. I've seen him make uh, show me different things and show improvements on being patient and breaking a fighter down and, you know, really allowing his skills to shine, man. And, um, you know, he still hasn't been past the sixth round, you know. So, you know, this guy is uh, an extremely skilled fighter, man, and has a, a bright future in the sport. And I think he could be pound for pound, number one, the face of boxing, the biggest star in boxing. I think he can be all of that. You know, it's just only time will tell. So he's going up against Custio Clayton, who, of course, by 
you know, from the uh, most people would look at this fight and be like, you know, this ain't. This ain't the guy we want to see Jerron Boos in there with. Jerron Boos Ennis is way better than this guy. Uh, you know, this is a fight that we already know the the outcome of. You know, Custio Clayton, yeah, he's undefeated, but he's just not on the level of Jerron Boos Ennis. And to that, I would agree 100%. You know, however, Jerron Boos Ennis has been fight. He has been uh, trying to fight the top guys. He's been vocal about fighting the top guys. He's been vocal about wanting to get in with the best. And he's never shied away from any challenge or um, anybody that's worth anything that's saying, that, hey, I would like to fight this guy. I'm, I haven't seen Jerome Boost Ennis give off the energy that he's shying away from that. So what I won't do is criticize Jerome Ennis for staying. Number one, he's fighting a title eliminator, which if you think about it, this is the route that you got to go if you're a guy like Boost Ennis. That's where it's hard for you to get fights. You're you're so good and so talented that you're high risk, low reward. Somebody fight. If a top guy fight you right now, they're not going to make no money. And it's an extremely high risk to fight a guy like Jerron Ennis with very little to get from it. So you beat him. They're going to be like, well, you beat a, a guy that was unproven. And then you ain't going to make no money. If he beat you, your whole, career could, your, your whole career could go down the drain. You know, these fans, they see you lose one time and they just throw the whole fighter away. You dig what I'm saying? So it's a high risk, low reward. So in Jerron Boost Ennis' defense, fighting a title eliminator, even though it's versus a guy that we probably don't want to see him fight, it's the best thing he can do. It's the same thing Earl Spence had to do when he was calling out everybody, didn't nobody want no smoke. So we had to fight Chris Algieri and then ultimately Leonard Bundu for a title eliminator to get the to become the IBF mandatory versus Kell Brook. That's the only way he was going to get a title shot. If he hadn't did that, he would have just been fighting bums for his whole career. So you have this the route that Jerron Boos and his have to go. You know what I'm saying? So, um, Custio Clayton, undefeated guy. Um, I believe he started boxing like around 11 years old. He's from Canada. He's actually like a six-time national champion uh, in the amateurs in Canada. You know what I'm saying? Really a relatively unknown guy here in the U.S. And I've seen a little bit of film on this guy. I'm going to be honest with you. There's not really a lot of film out there on him, but I've seen a little bit of film, and I'll tell y'all, you know, I'm just the type of person that just give me a few rounds of a guy and I could tell you a lot on what what their capabilities are, their strong points, their weaknesses. I could just tell a lot in three rounds. But I actually watched the fight versus Perez. That's one of the few fights that you can find, like four fights uninterrupted and shit like that online. So I'm going to tell you like this, man. This dude, he in trouble. You know, Custio Clayton. He in trouble. You know what I mean? He get in there with a guy that he's going to be extremely overmatched with, with Jerron Ennis. I mean, Custio Clayton, the best thing he got going for him, he's physically strong. You know, he he got, in my opinion, he got more muscles than skills, but he undefeated, so he's doing something right. He ain't really, his, the biggest fighter, the biggest name and probably the best fighter that he fought was Sergey uh, Lipinets, which is probably the best fighter that Jerron Boots and his fault. The difference is he got a draw with Sergey Lipinets, and we all know what Jerron Boots and his did to Sergey Lipinets. but that's neither here nor there. What I'm saying is that Custio Clayton, um, he really don't bring a whole lot to the table that could cause trouble for Jerron Ennis. Um, the, best, the best weapon that I see that he has is like a loop and overhand right. You know, he got some decent power in the overhand right. I think he's like, what, 19-0 uh, and 0 with 10 knockouts. I could be wrong on that. I think that's that's what his his record is looking, something like that. So he's not like no one-punch knockout artist or anything like that, but he got some respectable pop. And if he land that right hand, you know, it could be trouble. I mean, on any given night, any fighter get hit with the right shot at the right time, your ass could get knocked the fuck out. I mean, that's just life. You dig what I'm saying? But... Custio Clayton is extremely overmatched in this fight. And I think he, you know, he has good pressure. That's another thing. He got good pressure and a good overhand right. So this, if you, if we're looking for a silver lining or if we're looking for something, a positive aspect of this or something that we can get out of this, because in my opinion, until Boost Ennis get in there with somebody like Terrence Crawford or Keith Thurman or Earl Spence or your Dennis Ugas, somebody who I actually did or Virgil Ortiz or Connor Ben, somebody that I actually deem as a threat to him. 
or in some way, shape, or form a threat to him until he gets in or has the um, the privilege of sharing a ring with one of those guys. I look at these fights as like kind of like a test. You know what I'm saying? Not even really like tests. It's it's kind of like practice. You dig what I'm saying? I'm searching for like I want to see him in there with guys like that's gonna make like push pull something up out of him. You feel me? Like show us something like how you deal with pressure. You know what I'm saying? I think if we're looking for one thing in this fight, we might be able to get a good gauge on how Jerron Bo- Boots Ennis deals with pressure because Castillo Clayton is really good at applying pressure. Like I said, he's a physically strong guy. Seemed like he got a decent chin, but he's never been in there with a, with a puncher like Ennis. So that shit might even go out the window. You know what I'm saying? But it's going to be interesting to see how Jerron boosts in his handle that pressure. Look at his footwork. Like I said, it's practice. It's kind of like, you know, you a coach and you, you know, you scrimmage and you, you watching your, your players scrimmage and shit and you looking for little things. You watching your star quarterback. Ah, uh, you know what I'm saying? Let me see his pocket presence. Let me see, you know what I mean? Let me look at his accuracy. You know, you working on little things you because you already know the motherfucker cold. Now you just watching little things to see how he going to get better. You feel me? So that's how I'm looking at this fight. I'm not expecting... Custio Clayton to win. I'm not expecting him to come remotely close to beating Jerron Ennis. I'm just looking at what Jerron Ennis has been working on and how he's getting better and how he's continually continually uh, improving, you know what I'm saying, and going to that next level. So, um, you know, for y'all, let me know what y'all think. How do y'all feel about this matchup with Jerron Ennis and Custio Clayton? I'm excited that it's been added to the undercard. Uh, for the Jamel Charlo and Brian Castano fight. I think that's awesome. That fight is pay-per-view worthy, but as of right now, it's free on to- on Showtime. So, you know what I'm saying? Keep that on the low. It's free on Showtime. If you got Showtime, it ain't pay-per-views. You already got the app. You good. But that shit is some shit that a motherfucker pay for. How you put Keith Thurman and Barrios on pay-per-view, but we get this free? I ain't tripping. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. I, maybe they just doing us a favor. They like, man, look, let's show them some love. I didn't buy the damn Keith Thurman fight, but I'm just saying, they like, all right, let's show them boys some love. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to put this, this going to be free. You dig what I'm saying? So y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, how y'all feel about this matchup. What do y'all know about Custio Clay? You know, maybe uh, some of y'all have seen more of Custio Clay than I have. And uh, share some light, man. What y'all know about him? What y'all expecting in this matchup? Contender regime. Boxing. I holler at y'all, boys, man.